and welcome back to my channel. I've filmed this intro 50 billion times and I'm hoping this is the last time and I get it right. I'm going to be doing Faith's Fave books and today I'm going to be showing you 8 different books that I've read and describe them for you and I hope you like my recommendations. The first book I'm going to be recommending is Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stefan Chabaski. It took me 50 million times to get that name right. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. It follows the story of Charlie, and he he's a freshman in high school, and he makes these two friends named Sam and Patrick, and they're half-brother and sister. Um, and it shows his journey through his first year of school, and they're seniors. Um, well, he's a freshman. Sam and Patrick are seniors. It kind of has an odd, like, not odd, but it's kind of has like a really good ending, but you're going to find out some things about Charlie that you didn't expect, but you knew something happened. But it's really good. I suggest if you're going through like either A, a hard time, feel like you don't fit in, or maybe like a little lost in the world, that you read this book. It might open your eyes to either way to see like what other people are going through. It's amazing. I'm sure you've seen the movie probably by now. So read the book because it's better. Well, it's they're both good, but this one's amazing. This, it's better than the movie. The second book I will be recommending is actually a second book in a series. I've read the first three and I own all, all the books that are in the series, but they're actually a middle school level book. Um, and that is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, and this one is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is actually made into a movie. They actually kind of, in the movies, skip over a couple of them, and they only did like a couple of the like the books and made them into movies. But this um, follows the story of four siblings and they fall into this uh, wardrobe and uh, they go to Narnia. And then it shows like them meeting characters and it's like their first journey really into Narnia because the first book does not follow the four siblings. But um, you should really check this out. If you haven't seen the movie either, check the movie out. But I suggest reading the book first because it's really good. Okay. It's time for us to have this talk. <laughs> I talked about this book um, in the first video I ever made, and I said it was my favorite movie. And then, ever since then, I keep taking that back and recorrecting it, because everybody says, oh, your favorite movie, and I go, oh, it's not my favorite movie. I have a favorite movie. I love the movie, but I love the book a lot more. And you're not going to really... Let me just explain first, okay? So, the next book that I'm recommending is... Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. I loved this series. I've read this series eight times. This story is not just about sex. And I'm willing to say and talk about sex on this channel because, quite frankly, it's a natural human thing. So I'm not scared to recommend this book. Um, it's a love story. It definitely is. The second and third book show deeper characters. They go through intense things. There's chasing. There's hunting down things. It's not just about sex. And yes, they might have sex, but it's, you know, twisted and things, not them, but like, you know, it just, it kind of puts life in, maybe a little bit in perspective, and it also might, for me, it helped distract away from my life, so maybe it'll help distract away from your life. I'd really like to just, like, sit down and maybe do, like, a book talk just about this book and this series and tell you, like, what it really means to me, because... I'll defend this to the grave, like this series. I, I know, but like, I obviously know that people are like, oh, well, it's not written well. But like, the thing is, is like, it's an easy read, and that's what I love, is easy reads. Yeah, give it a try. The next book I'm going to be recommending, you guys have actually seen in one of my videos, and it was in my Christmas haul. My best friend Brittany got this book for me, and I've actually seen these people twice now perform live. Um, which is super, super exciting. Anthony's over there, so I keep looking at him about this. But, um, yeah, and that would be, and if you don't, if you're new to my channel, obviously I'm a huge fan of these guys. And that would be The Amazing Book Is Not On Fire by Daniel Howell and Philip Lester. I don't know why I tried to make their names proper. Dan Howell and Phil Lester, a.k.a. Dan Is Not On Fire and Amazing Phil. They're two YouTubers. They have a game channel with two million, and then they have side channels as well. But this just shows, like, the story of their friendship and how, like, this world Dan and Phil had been created. Um, a lot of people uh, have that I've talked to that have subscribed to this channel have met me because of, like, Dan and Phil and all that stuff. Um, I really just loved the book. I do not have a signed copy, uh, even though they were selling them at Tadanoff. Uh, I just wanted to keep my same copy, and I have, like, a signed poster by them, which, of course, you've seen if you've seen my Dan and Phil haul. But um, the story just, yeah, it just tells the story of Dan and Phil, like, and about their, like, friendship, and that's, like, the beginning of it, if you wanted to see. Um, and it just has pictures and, like, stories. 
about their lives and stuff. So I suggest if you want to know more about Danville or learn about Danville at all, I would get their book and then I would subscribe to their YouTube channels because they're amazing. The next book I have is one book that I really fell in love with my senior year of high school, which was like two or two years ago, I think now. And I hope you guys have even heard of it because it is amazing and it's a movie. And that is Divergent by Veronica Roth. I read the first two and I was like, oh, I'm going to read the second one and then watch the movie and I did that and I was like, oh, I'll read the third one. And then I just got, got stuck reading other books. I have the whole series. Um, I have the um, even the four book. But the story just follows um, Tris and Four and they're in Chicago and I'm actually from Chicago. So to see like what happens kind of to Chicago and like how it doesn't look like Chicago anymore and it's rusted and all that stuff is kind of really cool because I'm like in the book they talk about like oh wow, Wabash truck. Like, oh I know where Wabash is. So I can imagine them running down Wabash and like and it's just really cool to like see them in the situation. Uh, so it's really cool. So yeah, so that's where I'm from. So it's really nice to see the characters and how they develop and like the story and how strong women can do anything. It's really good. So I suggest Divergent if you haven't seen it or read it. Do it. You're missing out. I just recommend the whole series for this one. Honestly, I don't really think that I could you could go wrong with this one. And that of course is I'm just picking up this one because honestly, I'll be honest with you, this one is in my copy. It's Anthony's. I forgot mine at home. So I recommend the whole entire Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. It is amazing. I will be honest with you. I have not read the whole entire series. The books came out when I was a kid. Wasn't a big reader. Just really wasn't. I'm finishing the series now. I am a die-hard Harry Potter fan, as you will see on Friday. Um, and I am super pumped just to finish them. They're amazing. I love like, the characters, the storyline. These were like my best friends growing up, like watching these movies. Like Harry, Ron, and Hermione like, were my best friends. Like I, I, you know, when you read this series, you feel as uh, read or watch, it doesn't matter which one you are. Because a lot of people haven't read the Harry Potter series and just watch the movies. Like there are people like that. But anyways, like, you know, it. It's a whole nother world if you haven't seen it, and it kind of like devours you. It might be the fact that like I grew up with it, but it definitely makes, it definitely changes things for me. Oh, and by the way, um, if you hear drumming or like a boom, boom, boom type thing, I, yes, like I said in my last video, I film at Anthony's house, I don't film at mine. His dad's like on his drum set downstairs with his band, so that's what that boom, 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 boom is. So, there you go. Uh, and my last two are actually, I recommend both in a series. I just own both of these, so I was just like, I'm going to bring them both because I just read these. And one of the, if you saw my favorite video, is in there, of course. Um, the first one is Girl Online, and the second one is Girl Online on Tour, and they're both by Zoe So. I'll start with Girl Online. Girl Online follows the story of Penny, and Penny's like a 15-year-old girl. She's in college, I believe. Well, not a college, but like college for them. Uh, in the UK. And Penny's kind of like, not an outcast, but she just kind of keeps to herself. She has these things called, she, well she has panic attacks, but she doesn't really understand them at this, in the, this point in the book. She like takes photos of everything that she does. She's kind of like in the background of the story, like not like in life, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, oh Penny do this, Penny do that, but you know, she's not like in the limelight of it. Penny gets a chance, um, some embarrassing things happen to her, and she gets a chance to go to New York with her mom who plans weddings. There she meets a boy named Noah. They kind of fall in love over Christmas and, and then she goes home. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the reason it's called Girl Online is she has a blog called Girl Online and it's actually a secret, nobody knows it's her, but she has millions of followers on it. She goes back home and somebody realizes that it's Penny and they release her blog and say that she's also dating Noah. Penny did not know it at the time, Noah is a rock star and he's kind of like hidden. But that's all I'm going to say about this one. Alrighty, and the second one, Girl Online on Tour, follows the story of Noah when he, um, Noah and Penny, um, when they get to go on tour together in, in Europe. He, for like two weeks over her summer break, she goes on tour with Noah, and it's kind of complicated for Penny because she's stuck in like this tour bus with all these boys and she's the only girl, and it's just crazy because Noah has no time for her and all this stuff. But 
they're both easy reads. Um, if you want to learn more about them, go to my blog. I've reviewed both of them. Felt like I was Penny, and I felt like I could relate to Penny, even though she was 15 and I'm 21. I felt like we had this connection. And it does say signed copy on my book. I have showed you guys this before, but I'll just show it to you again because it's like my favorite thing in the whole entire world right now. Um, and that is that this book is signed by Zoella herself. And it's pen. And yeah, Brittany got me that for Christmas. But that's all the books I'm kind of recommending for right now. I don't know if you want me to recommend any more books. I have read plenty of other ones. So guys, that's all for me today. And I will see you back Friday. But before I go, I just got one more thing to say. And that would be don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to comment on my video. I'm Faith. And I'll see you later.